actress, and of course I've been in a bikini in most of my films, but I have. But most of the films I love the most are like Piranaconda, Super Shark, Evil Bikini 3D. Anyone watch them? Anyone in here? Yes, thank you for lying, I love you. Yeah, well, I love giving the breakdown of my films. Piranaconda is a film about a piranha and an anaconda having a baby. It could happen. I play a scientist. <laughs> Which is the most unrealistic part of the movie because me playing a scientist is like Paris Hilton playing a virgin. Or a scientist. <laughs> and uh, Super Shark, I play a bikini pageant contestant who comes in fifth. And it's a film about a prehistoric shark that lives on land and kills people, which is totally unrealistic. I would never come and fit. <laughs> right? When I auditioned, this is my favorite story. When I auditioned for Evil Bikini 3D, initially I did not get the role, but my implants did. <laughs> this is a real story. No. And I, like, I was like, okay, cool, I'll go along for the ride. So they're in the union. They're in the union, they're SAG. <laughs> so keep them in mind. The show, talk to me good project. Uh, I do work for the most sleazy B movie directors and producers, like guys who ask me to take my top off for a hundred dollars, and I'm like, excuse me, my implants cost more than your whole fucking production. <laughs> so the answer is yes, I need to pay them off. <laughs> See you one day. No, uh, it's great being an actress, and someone's like, well, what have you been in? I'm like, a lot of uncomfortable positions. <laughs> <laughs> Manual labor. <laughs> Got it! <laughs> I know, right? I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> no, really, I'm not capable of those things at all. Um, anyway, so yeah, so I'm originally from Georgia. Is there any Southern folks in the house tonight? Yeah. Yes! I love it! I love it! Awesome! Um, I'm really happy to be here. Uh, because I went broke in Georgia, literally. I started working at 12 just so I could afford to go to all my girlfriend's baby showers. <laughs> like, it gets so expensive when you have slutty friends. Like, let me tell you. It's retarded. I do come from a great Southern family, though. I have two sisters, Spencer and Skylar. Spencer's a porn star. It doesn't really matter what Skylar does because Spencer's a porn star. <laughs> That's all anyone wants to talk about. But my sister Spencer, bless her heart, like she doesn't like realize, she doesn't think that she's in porn because she only does girls. And I'm like, Spencer, if you're not in porn, then why were you at the Avian Awards accepting a golden titty? <laughs> she still doesn't get it. But she won't come to any of my shows. Like I'm really pissed. I invited her to the show and I was like, Spencer, come to my show, and she won't come. I think it's because of that joke, but I don't know. Uh, and it's like that's not even that bad. I could go way worse. Anyways, I get really self-conscious when I'm like grocery shopping at Whole Foods and they ask me if I brought my own bags. I'm like, my own bags? I don't even have my own hair. Like, why would I have my own bags that you're now charging me for, which is ridiculous. Anyway, that's my thought on that. Um, yeah, so no one believes me when I say this at all and it really drives me crazy, but I have the worst luck with guys, like the worst luck. Like, I dated a guy with an eating disorder. He wouldn't go down on me. <laughs> so that didn't last very long. And then after that wonderful human being, I was set up on a blind date. And the first thing out of this guy's mouth was, we would have beautiful babies together. And I was like, dude, okay, wait, wait, wait. First of all, like, I know. <laughs> and second of all, no. Like, I just met you, I don't know when you have the I want to intentionally have a baby conversation, but I know it's not on the first date. So, that was a disaster. And clearly people want to have babies, so that joke didn't work. <laughs> awesome, good and noted, noted. Um, anyway, so I've been getting a lot of dick pics recently. <laughs> That's a great transition, right? Thought so too. And no, but I've been getting like a lot of frustration, like a lot of frustration. Like I feel like I should create an online dating site called The Whole Package. It would be set up exactly like eHarmony, except you have to have a verified dick pic. So that way you don't have to waste two days and get disappointed. You're like, fuck, Photoshop, damn it, that ruins all relationships, right? At least mine. Yeah, I, um, I 
don't understand why people don't relate to that, but it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, I was in bed with this guy the other night, and he asked me to call him Daddy, and I was like, I don't really like my dad. Can I just call you by your name? He's like, yeah. I'm like, great, what is it? <laughs> We've all been there, yeah? <laughs> I think. <laughs> so, what is with the ass slapping during sex, guys? Like, I'm not a pinata. Okay, like, I'm not gonna bust open with candy, I'm gonna bruise. <laughs> so if we could just keep that to a minimum, that would be great. My colon hydrotherapist is here, he's like sitting in the front row and I'm really excited. Like, this is Dr. Bo Wagner, you guys, he's a celebrity. And I'm like, I love telling these jokes right in front of you, because you've seen it. <laughs> I love you, Dr. Bo, thank you for coming. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> So I'm gonna end on that, like bust my closer, that's much better. Thank you guys so much, you've been a great crowd.